Can I get a chi hu? More like, can I get a ka -ching? Moana 2's numbers are in, and out of this five-day extravaganza over Thanksgiving weekend, it has become the top-grossing animated film of all time. You heard it right. Disney is making bank off of Moana 2. And why shouldn't it? The movie is worse than the first one. It's a mediocre follow-up with worse music, terrible plot, and kind of a, you know, just going through the motions story and all around character arc. But yeah, it deserves to be the all-time greatest, highest grossing movie ever. Let's talk about it. Now, to be fair, I actually enjoyed Moana 2. I don't think it's great. I think it's a serviceable sequel. I think it aimed for pretty much bare minimum and it succeeded. And it didn't really matter because as I look at the box office numbers for this year, and I brought this up just recently in a different video, please subscribe as I post lots of video commentary, movie reviews, live streams every week. You don't wanna miss it. My mom says it's really good. She hasn't watched the show in five years, but she says it's really good. She's proud of me and you can be too. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I looked back on the box office numbers this year, and in the top 10, we have a whole lot of animated films, and I wouldn't say any of them are all that great, outside of Inside Out 2. I think that is a very solid sequel. But we have Despicable Me 4 on here, friends. Is anyone gonna die on a hill and say that Despicable Me 4 is like a great movie? Or even a good movie? It's pretty much shit. And I like the Despicable Me movies. So I have a pretty low bar when it comes to these types of films. Uh, we have Kung Fu Panda 4 on here. Panda shit. Another bad movie. Like that one's genuinely terrible. I hate that film. And I like the trilogy of Kung Fu Panda movies. I, I think it peaks at two. Three takes a huge step backwards, but still fine. Still a decent enough story and ending. But then four is just this tacked on trash. Just like Despicable Me 4. They don't feel like genuine, sincere pieces of, I don't want to say art because I don't think any of, I don't think any of the Despicable Me movies are, are shooting for that goal, but at least it felt like there was some sign of like passion put into them, some creativity, and now it's just their, their superheroes flying around like idiots. And so when I look at Moana 2 and I see it has a box office revenue of almost $400 million in five days, I think it's around 382, that's insane, but it's also not shocking. The film is already financially profitable and, it's, and it hasn't even been out for seven days. This overtook the previous record holder of $377 million opening weekend, which was the Super Mario Brothers movie. Illumination has it figured out. They figured it out very early on. Make the movies vibrant, colorful, a lot of stupid antics going on, cutesy characters left and right, catchphrases galore, keep them an hour and a half, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, bada penis, you're in and out before you know it. The parents are home, they had a good time with their kids, the movie didn't overstay its welcome, the kids didn't start crying constantly and have to go to the bathroom and they're throwing food and running up and down the aisles. And I think Disney's been paying attention because that's exactly what they've done this year. They didn't put out a lot of movies and I'm actually gonna cover that in the next video I put out. It's gonna go over Disney's current success it's past failures, and then we're going to move into the future and see what they have to offer. But right now, in the present, we have Moana 2 that I have predicted earlier is going to hit a billion dollars easily, and it looks like it's well on its way. It's going to be halfway there, probably within the first seven or eight days. I mean, this is insane. It's insane, but it's also not implausible. You have a beautiful looking film for sure. And it was repurposed from a Disney Plus TV series, which is... Uh, not great to hear um, that the bare minimum has been put into this, but I don't think movie studios are really in the industry anymore in the business of making anything with any real genuine care. It's more just what's the bottom dollar? How do we get there? And that's why we're seeing movies like Moana 2 more often. This is a movie that would have in the past gone straight to VHS. If we're talking about the old Disney where Cinderella 2, Aladdin 2 and 3, Beauty and the Beast, Christmas Magic Wonderland, or whatever the fuck that was. These all went straight home to video. Like, I never understood why they did it to begin with. I'm gonna be honest with you. Back when I was a little one, and I'd say, Mama, Papa, Popsicle, 
Well, why, why is there no Beauty and the Beast sequel? Why is there no sequel to uh, Lady and the Tramp? I don't know. I don't think I ever brought that one up. This is the first thing that came to my mind for some reason. And they would say, shut up, little child. We're, we're trying to make love. And I'd be like, okay, well, when you're done in a couple seconds, let me know. And then they would say, Adam, son, child, the reason is Disney's stupid. And they don't want to make that much money. And they couldn't retain the rights to the voice actors for a sequel because they're dumb. No, in all honesty, I think it's because Disney cared about their properties and they wanted to keep innovating and making new stories and adding to their catalog. I think, and I could be entirely wrong, but I think Disney had a bit more integrity in the 80s and 90s when it was looking at its properties. It wasn't thinking like, let's spin out three or four sequels really quick. Let's actually bring new ideas to the table, new characters, new worlds, because that brings up, that holds up all of our ships. We have toy lines, we have merch, we got a freaking giant theme park that we have to contend with. Let's make new stuff for the people to fall in love with. And so they would work on all these different projects, but they also knew that the kids, the families wanted sequels. So they would do them on the cheap. You don't have the AAA stars, you don't have the animation studios that are working on these really big budget ones. You get the B team, you get the C squad, and then you just shit that out over the course of time. You know, you put that out on VHS, DVD. They kind of were doing that for a while with Disney Plus. That was essentially, most of these streaming services are kind of the direct to DVD garbage we used to get when you would see Mel Gibson or Sylvester Stallone in some random movie on the bottom shelf at your uh, local rental store. And you would go, what the, f what, what is this? How have I never heard of this? Well, it's because they were doing a quick paycheck for very, you know, they, they just had time in between big movies. Now though, Disney has decided in their infinite wisdom that telling new stories is challenging, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of marketing, and you could easily shit the bed on it. So it's better, I'm looking at you, Wish. So it's better to just churn and burn sequels. And we don't even have to do that good of a job. Let's just put in the money, bring back the same cast, and crap it out into the theaters. They did this a few years back with Planes. That was the car spinoff that was supposed to go straight to Disney Plus or to DVD or whatever it was at the time. But someone was like, why? Cars is a huge moneymaker. Put that in the theaters. People will go. They eat up this garbage. Kids like to go to the movies. Parents like to get them out of the house. It feels like they're doing something. Instead of sitting at their tablet on the floor being annoying, we can keep them quiet or yell at them every five seconds. Shut up. Shut up, Billy. Moana's about to sing. Don't ruin this for me. I just paid $65. Oh, you're not gonna drink that icy? That was $8, you piece of shit. G give me it, give me it. <laughs> sing, sing, we can sing now. Actors said we could. And somewhere I'm like five seats over, just, just pissed, trying to contain my rage to just be like, <laughs> What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Moana 2 is doing very well and it's going to continue to do very well because people like mediocre crap. No, really, it's, it's just simple. It's super simple. You can't even believe how basic it all is. Put a colorful movie out there with a beloved character and you just keep doing it. It's the Illumination playbook. Don't have anything controversial. Don't try to make a statement. Don't ruffle any types of feathers or groups of people. Bring them all together. Sing, dance, love, laugh. Take your money and go. And there you go, Moana 2. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, are you happy about this? Are, are you, do you think it's sending the right message to studios to keep making the sequel after sequel thing? Do you not care? Like, Moana 2 is fine. It's fine. I, I'm good with it. I could use another Frozen. I could use another Moana. Let's just keep it going, keep the good times happening. And uh, you know, it doesn't matter, it's for kids anyway. So at the end of the day, what's it matter to you? Okay, let me know, leave a comment, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification bell so these show up in your feed in the future. 
become a Patreon at patreon.com slash Adam does movies. I'm telling you to do a lot of things. I, I understand. But once you do them, you don't ever have to do them again. And I would appreciate you more for it. All right. Hopefully I see you next time. Take care.